Hi friends, Zoe here. So today I'm going to share with you a few of my favorite drugstore products. So these products are products that I found at Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada, but I'm sure you can probably find them floating around drugstores across North America or wherever in the world you might live. And by the way, wherever you live, uh, leave it below because I'm very curious as to know where my subscribers are from. So first things first, shower products. So recently I came across the Beach Blonde John Frieda products, which I'm really liking. So these were, I think, less than $10 each. Uh, this is the shampoo, and this is the conditioner. I've also shown them off in my uh, volumizing hair video, which I'll link below. But I'm very happy with these products. They smell really good. So it is made with seaweed and mint. They smell really good. They make my hair feel really good. And they're dedicated to blondes. I know that John Frieda has other products for blondes and also other products for brunettes. And I've tried a couple of the other blonde products and I'm very happy with them. So overall, I really like this brand as uh, drugstore hair products. Next, I pulled this out of the shower to share with you guys. And this is Dove Soap. I am obsessed with Dove Soap and I have been for quite a very long time. I generally just buy the um, the plain smelling one I guess but it smells good, it smells clean, I use it every day and every night in the shower and it, it makes me feel just nice and fresh and clean and I swear by this soap. I'm going to tell you guys a quick little story. So when I went to Europe I used this soap for everything. I washed my clothes with this soap, I washed my face with this soap, I washed my hair with this soap and it's like it's a savior. If you are backpacking somewhere, Dove Soap, I swear to gosh, it is so capable of so many things. And yes, just overall an amazing soap. Smells great. And yeah. So next, I'm going to share with you my self-tanner. So I use St. Tropez self-tanner. They used to sell this at Sephora. It also comes in a smaller bottle as well. But they recently discontinued it at Sephora in Canada anyways. So I've been buying this now at Shoppers Drug Mart. And this just helps me create an overall glow. If you're not familiar with the product, it's like a mousse that you put into your glove. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit tanned up right now. But you put the mousse into your glove and then you just rub it all over your body. I generally do this maybe once a week, every once a week and a half. And I put it on and then I go to bed with it on and then I shower it off in the morning and I have a nice light glow. I'm very um, fair skinned so I, I really rely on this product for a nice glow, especially in the winter time. So next, as if you've been following along in my vlogs too, I did mention this as well in the volumizing hair videos. And this is the John Frieda Luxurious Volume line of products. So this is the mousse and this is the hairspray. And I'm very happy with both of these products and they're very inexpensive. So this is the mousse, uh, which I put in when my hair is damp and then I blow dry it. And of course, once I'm finished styling my hair with whatever I wanted to do with it, I use the Luxurious Volume Hairspray. I'm very particular about my hairsprays because I have very fine hair and I find that I really appreciate a hairspray that doesn't weigh it down and that is um, like movable and I can run my fingers through my hair and it's fine. So I am very happy with this specific hairspray. I've also used various L'Oreal hairsprays and I really enjoy those as well. Next, mascara. So like I mentioned before, sometimes I use the Dior Show Maximizer underneath, but on top and right now because I ran out of my Maximizer, I haven't bought it again, but I, I really like drugstore mascaras. They work for me. I've spent a lot of money on other mascaras to try them out and I've been disappointed, but I'm always... Um, very happy when I get these products, very inexpensive, around $10 each. So this is the Voluminous uh, Manga, Miss Manga Lash Mascara, and I've also used Miss Manga Rock, and I really like it. And then this is the Falsies, Volume Express. These are both really good mascaras, they work for me, and it's nice to know that I can go to the drugstore and stock up for less than $10. Next, makeup remover. I really like this L'Oreal Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. I've been using it for years and years, probably since I started using or wearing makeup. And it's oil-free and it has pro-vitamin B5 in it, and I really like this product. It definitely takes everything off of my eyes at night or in the morning when I get mascara all over my eyes, if you guys may have seen before in the <laughs> makeup video. But yes, yeah, so I love this product. I find that it doesn't leave streaks and it doesn't leave an oily feeling around your eyes and my my skin around my eyes is very sensitive I used makeup remover wipes before in the past that even say hypoallergenic and I wind up with a, a bit of a red rash around my eyes and that is not the case for this I swear by it I either use q-tips to remove my makeup 
or I put it onto a cotton pad and remove it and I just I just love this. Next, I'm going to share with you guys my toothpaste. So I absolutely love Arm & Hammer toothpaste. So this is the one that I use morning and night. I use a different one in my office um, or during the day, which is the Max Fresh one. Uh, not Arm & Hammer, I think it's it's Crest or Colgate, sorry if I got it wrong. But it's the one with the little like breast strips in it. But I love this toothpaste. I get a lot of questions as to why my teeth are so white. Do I whiten them, things like that. I I swear by this toothpaste, I absolutely love it, and I use it every single day. I also use a tongue cleaner every single day, every single night. If you guys don't have a tongue cleaner, you should probably get one. Uh, like I said, I'm kind of obsessive with, with cleaning my mouth, but I, I love this. I got this from the drugstore, Shoppers Drug Mart, and I think it was uh, maybe around $5. It's called Aura Brush, but after you're done brushing your teeth, um, you obviously can't get everything off of your tongue with your toothbrush anyway, so you need to get a tongue cleaner so that you can scrape all of the bacteria and whatever is on your tongue off of your tongue every single day and every single night. And as well as flossing, like make sure that you're doing your whole routine because then less visits to the dentist and more of a pearly overall nice white shining smile. So these are my favorite drugstore products, and like I mentioned, they're fairly inexpensive. I think the most expensive thing is the Saint-Tropez, but it lasts for so long, and I definitely love that product. I love all of these. Let me know if you guys use any of them below, or if you have any recommendations for me of products that you think that I might like. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye!